In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the cloud storage service called Dropbox. And Dropbox was one of the first cloud storage services out there on the internet, and many people still believe it to be the best. It's one of my favorites, right up there with Microsoft's OneDrive. I like both of them about equally. But let's take a look now at Dropbox and what it can do for you. Here I am at Dropbox.com, and as you can see, it says Your Stuff Anywhere. And that's the idea here, is that you can have a Dropbox on your computer that Anything that you put into that Dropbox will be available to you on all of your devices. So to get set up and ready to use Dropbox, you can go to dropbox.com and you can click this sign up button. However, I uh, really recommend that you sign up a different way. If you know someone who already has a Dropbox account, you could ask them to send you a link to sign up. And if you use their link, you'll get bonus storage space and so will they. Now I have set up a, a link associated with this YouTube video, so if you don't want to take the time to uh, find a friend that has a Dropbox link, you can just use my link, it'll help me get some storage space, and it'll help you. If you want to use that link, you'll just look underneath this YouTube video that you're watching now, and you should see on in the published area with information about the video, you should see a link. Now this is one for a different video that I've made but it'll be similar and you'll just click the link to go and sign up to, for Dropbox and you'll get bonus storage and so will I. But uh, if you prefer, you can just go to dropbox.com, click sign up. There's a few simple questions and you will be signed up to use Dropbox. And once you're signed up, you will be able to sign into dropbox.com and you will be able to upload items into your storage area. Notice that I can click this button here to upload, I simply choose files that are on my computer, select them, click open, and it pulls it up into my dropbox.com account. So now here is that document that I just recently uploaded. Now that's one way that you can use Dropbox. Just simply open up the internet, go to dropbox.com, upload things that you want to share or be able to access anywhere you are. And then let's say I am on a public computer somewhere, I could just go to dropbox.com, log in, and here I would see the document that I just barely uploaded. And I would be able to download that to the computer simply by clicking on it and then clicking this download button here at the top. Now I can also link to it. If I right click on it, I can click this share link and it gives me a hyperlink that I could email. And as you can see, there's lots of other options that I have because I have uploaded this into my Dropbox account. So that is a valid way to use Dropbox, just using Dropbox.com, logging in, uploading, downloading as needed, and sharing links with people that, that might need it. Now, it, honestly, if that's the way you're going to use Dropbox, even though it's a valid, good way to do it, I'm going to tell you, you're missing out on some of the power and convenience of Dropbox. To fully use Dropbox effectively, what you're going to want to do is, after signing up, click here in the upper right corner on your name and choose Install. And this will download Dropbox to your computer, setting up for you a folder, a Dropbox if you will, on your computer into which you can put just about any kind of file and then it will automatically upload it to your Dropbox.com account and download it to your other computers and make it available on your other devices like tablets, smartphones, things like that. So for a Mac, notice what it says. It says free download for Mac, and I just click that. It downloads to my computer, and now I can click to open the Dropbox installer. To install, double click the icon above. It's a little bit paranoid, wants to make sure I'm okay with installing this. I click open, and it proceeds to download Dropbox to my computer. Next, I just need to go to my downloads folder, and there it is, Dropbox installer. I'll double click on it, once Dropbox is installed, it's going to probably ask you for your login and password that you set up at Dropbox.com. You type in that information, login and password, and it will start to synchronize your files from Dropbox.com to your computer. And you can see now, here at the top of the screen, it's finished doing that for me. Once you're done installing Dropbox, it will appear here at the top of your Mac. And notice that it has a little check mark in the corner of the Dropbox. That means that it is now fully synced. So now, in order to use my Dropbox, there's several ways I can access it and use it. I can just click here, and you can see the most recently updated files that are in my Dropbox. If I want to delve into the Dropbox more deeply, I can click here on this folder. It opens up the Dropbox, and you can see that my folders and files are all there. 
and right here is that document that I uploaded using Dropbox.com. But guess what? Now that I have this Dropbox installed on this computer, I'm really not going to ever need to go to Dropbox.com, at least not for a long time. All I have to do in order to upload things to Dropbox.com is put it in this folder now, in this Dropbox folder. And remember, I accessed it by clicking here and then clicking on the folder. So let me give you an example. Here on my desktop, I have some images, and I want to put those in my Dropbox. All I have to do is click and drag this folder and put it into this Dropbox window that I opened a, a few seconds ago, let go, and now that images folder is automatically uploading to Dropbox. And I can tell because there's a little circle showing me that it's processing. And at the top of the screen here, it was also doing the same thing. Now I've got the check mark. That means it's fully uploaded to Dropbox.com and it's ready to be shared to all of my other devices. Now you'll also notice that here at the left, there is a Dropbox folder in my favorites. And so I can access that quickly anytime I need to. Another way to save to my Dropbox is directly from programs like Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel, those kinds of programs, just about any kind of program actually. So I'm just gonna go and type up a document here and I'll save it to my Dropbox simply by clicking File, Save, or Save As, selecting Dropbox from the menu here at the left in, in the favorites, and then I could navigate to, you know, inside one of these folders if I want to. Wherever I want to, I can go ahead and save it. I could name it and click Save. Notice that now it's updating my Dropbox again. So this is a very convenient way to save things to the cloud in a cloud storage service like Dropbox. Now, in order for this to be fully useful to me, I would need to install the Dropbox folder on my home computer, on my work computer, on my laptop, on perhaps my tablet. If you have an iPad or an iPhone, notice that there is a Dropbox app for those devices. They also have Dropbox apps for Microsoft tablets, Surface tablets, and Android devices. So one of the reasons why Dropbox is still one of my top two cloud storage services is because it is so versatile. They have apps on just about every type of device and other apps and other services tap into Dropbox. In fact, I would say it is the most commonly supported cloud storage service that I've found. Um, you know, more apps and more websites utilize Dropbox than utilize, let's say, Microsoft OneDrive or Google Drive. And definitely more companies and websites and apps use Dropbox compared to Apple's iCloud. So hopefully this tutorial has gotten you ready to use Dropbox to install it on your computer and to really use it as a way to coordinate all of your files and documents to all your devices and be able to access them wherever you are. Now there is actually a really good reason to come back to your Dropbox account online, dropbox.com. And that is, if you want to increase the storage that you have, Dropbox by default will give you two gigabytes to start, but that's probably not gonna be enough if you're gonna be using Dropbox a lot. So this is how you can get more storage. If you click on your name and go to settings, and then account, and here, It'll show you how much space you have and how much space you've used. You can upgrade your Dropbox, but it's gonna cost some money, or you can earn more space. And sometimes it'll give you several different ways that you can earn more space for free. But one way that you can always earn some more space is by inviting a friend or someone else, you know, whoever you know that, that's interested in using Dropbox, you invite them, and then if they sign up using your invitation, you get bonus storage, and so do they. So. I'll click invite a friend and you can see all you have to do is put in their email addresses and click send and it will send them an invitation to sign up for Dropbox. Other ways you could do the same kind of thing, you can copy this link, paste it online, paste it in your emails that you send to people, post it on your website, tweet it, whatever you want to do. Anyone that clicks that link and then signs up will earn bonus storage and so will you. You can also share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter. and uh, there's lots of other creative ways that people share their links to their Dropbox and make it so that others can get bonus storage and so can they. So try that out. As you can see, I've earned t almost 29 gigabytes of bonus storage space by doing this, by inviting other people. Remember, you can click the link below this video if you want to install and set up Dropbox and get some extra storage space, and I will also get some extra storage space. Also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel to watch more video t tutorials about technology in the classroom. And if you want a great second cloud storage service, 
I would highly recommend Microsoft's OneDrive. It's an excellent alternative to Dropbox, but I like to use them both hand-in-hand. Hand. It basically doubles the storage that I have. 